Mark with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. Alright, so I fucking watched Baby Reindeer. I don't need any more messages of any sort about Baby Reindeer. I didn't even actually watch it. My wife was watching it and I was doing shit. So I was looking over at it and I'm like, this is... It's like a fluff piece. My wife was like, I've never seen anything that like depicts like the horror of stand-up comedy so well, like the behind the scenes stuff. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What about my whole fucking life? <laughs> what about that? And Baby Reindeer, it doesn't even really scratch the surface of the true horror, the fucking true nightmare that stand-up comedy is. Like, there's a scene in it, and I think it's, like, the biggest scene of the whole show. This cunt goes on stage and has an absolute fucking meltdown. He's crying. He's talking about how he got raped. He's fucking, like, (laughs) talking about how he's been stalked, about his shit jokes, about his shit career. And my wife's watching it, like, on the edge of her seat like just emotionally engaged and I'm just laughing my fucking head off. I'm like, I've seen this like a hundred (laughs) times. I've seen this in real life so many fucking times. I've even been the guy on stage. And before the scene had finished, I was like, babe, I'll tell you what would happen in real life. I'll tell you exactly what happens in real life when this happens because I've seen it before. What happens is the comedian walks off stage. (laughs) The crowd's like, what the fuck happened there? Someone else comes on, cleans up the mess. Then there's like four other comedians after that. The crowd walk out and they're like, oh, that guy, the third guy who was like, I don't know what he was doing, like crying or something. I didn't like him that much, but the fifth and sixth guy, they were pretty good. I liked the stuff about sandwiches. And the comedian who had the meltdown, what they do is they go home and then they just turn up to a fucking open mic the very next night like it never happened. And they just do all their old jokes. They don't change their set at all. Nothing happens. (laughs) Baby reindeer, what happened was this guy had a fucking... Meltdown on stage, someone filmed it, put it on the internet, and then he got a career, which is the most fictionalized bullshit I've ever seen in my entire life. If you fucking filmed every fucking mentally ill comedian that has a fucking meltdown on stage and put it on YouTube, it would that would be the biggest category of YouTube video. I've seen comedians go on stage, fucking bomb for like five minutes, and then start talking about how they were molested, but not in a funny way. (laughs) Just like the details. (laughs) It's so fucked. So I was watching that emotional scene just fucking laughing my head off. I knew he was going to get a career out of it, but I'm like, no, that's not what happens in real life. In real life, he doesn't change any of his jokes. He just goes to the next open mic with his teacup and the gout foot, or whatever the fuck the joke was. What was true, though, was uh, comedians who have been in the game for a little bit longer will try and fuck green comedians, open micers. You go to any comedy scene in the entire world, and I'm telling you right now, there's at least a dozen sexual scandals. (laughs) Like, someone has done something dodgy to someone, but not just one or two, like, several. Like, six or seven years ago, I think it was in the same week, this comedian, female comedian, Australian girl, Eurydice Dixon, she was going home from a gig and she got raped and murdered in a park, and simultaneously, this, like, famous dude in Australia, Tom Ballard, He's a gay dude, and he got accused of raping some Asian open mic dude in Adelaide. It was wild stuff. I remember the open micer, he had an article in the newspaper. 
It was something along the lines of Tom said I was funny. He said I've got a lot of talent. Next thing I know, we're back at my place. Tom's there. We've had a couple of drinks and his dick's in my mouth. I'm a straight guy. I'm a straight open micer. I don't know how it happened, but his dick ended up in my mouth somehow. That part of baby reindeer is true. A lot of dicks end up in a lot of mouths for fame or the hint of fame, not even actual fame, just like an opportunity to maybe get some fame. At least in Hollywood, you suck a fucking dick and you're in a fucking movie and you're getting some money. In comedy, you've got open micers sucking each other's dicks to get some stage time, like five minutes at an open mic. That's the true horror. The true <laughs> the true horror that baby reindeer f- fucking left out. Open micers will get molested by other open micers for like three minutes stage time and a drink card. <laughs> That's the reality. This is what happens all the time. Every generation. You'll have some people that call themselves comedian who have been doing comedy for like three years. And then you'll get someone who just started comedy and they've been in it for like two weeks. And they don't really understand what the fuck's happening with comedy. So they start doing like open mics and then they see these other open micers who have been doing it for three years. And compared to them, they seem like they're like kind of successful because they can get on at all these open mics. So these dudes, it's usually dudes, let's just call it out. So these dudes who've been doing it for like three years offer their advice and guidance to fresh comedians who have just started. They're like, I can get you on here. I can get you on there. Next thing you know, there's a big controversy. I know like probably 10 comedians that have dated other comedians and it's ended badly and it has somehow destroyed their career. That's like the first thing anyone with any sense says to other comedians like, Don't fuck any comedians. It doesn't end well. But in comedy, you just sleep your way to the bottom. (laughs) You you just get nowhere and you're sucking dick left, right and center. Metaphorically and literally. Anyway, baby reindeer, go check it out. It's like a romanticized version of the true horror of stand-up comedy. Anyway, that'll fucking do it for today. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you the fuck later.